Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to begin the sixth, and I believe it's the last trial of the ancient, which uh, I'm really excited to begin. A little sad it's been o it's uh, going to be over. This has been really really interesting going and battling the ancient, going through her trials and uh, really getting to know her as a character, and also a little bit more about the history of the land. Now before we begin make sure you are uh, subscribed make sure you are liking uh, that allows you to know when new videos are coming out it's also super helpful for me so let's head on over to Harmony Island now and come on over here and check out what is going on here so I love Glimmerwing she's so cool all right, here it is beginning. You did it! Now you can take the Ancients' trial. All right, let's go take the Ancients' trial. Ancient seems really powerful, so make sure that you're prepared. All right, so we should be good. I was in the battle. I was in the arena earlier today, so all of my armor is uh, eight hearts. Uh, I don't have the ten heart. I would love to be able to get that sometime. Hint, hint, prodigy. Uh, please go ahead and make that accessible in some way or form. Um, and let's go ahead and head on in and see what happens with this. So I do have, I've started to get some of these uh, level six runes and um, I'm really excited about that. I'll start to branch out into here and I will still be playing Prodigy or uh, Harmony Island in order to get some of these. Our trial reward is going to be this ring right here, which I believe is a special attack. Um, so very excited to go ahead and be able to equip that. Check it out. See how it is in battles. All right, here we are. So we have plenty of chicken. We're gonna be heading on over here and Griff Room is coming along with us. Griff Room is just about maxed out to level 100, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna to start to level up um, uh, Glimmerwing after, and then I'll continue to work on with these, but looks like it's time for me to be quiet. This is it. Complete this sixth trial. And my powers will finally be returned to me. We will. We will. Okay, let's go. We got to do this, guys. Um, we have to make sure that we can uh, help the ancient right here. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, she's 44,000. Man, I think, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do a rare damage bonus. And go ahead and just beef up our attacks a little bit. Here comes Sneaking Vine. That switch attack that starts happening in the fifth trial, man, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Let's go ahead and start out with, you know, I'm actually going to wait for a mythic attack. I'm going to just go back to normal attacks. I'm going to wait for a mythic attack until she switches me a little bit. Okay, so this is round to the nearest hundred. So our hundreds place is right here. So if we round to our nearest hundred, uh, this is going to go up to... 6,000 because the nine here will make it go up and so that rounds up to 6,000 which it would be the same for that one if you're rounding to the hundreds place or to the uh, tens place sorry hundreds place or thousands place all right sneaking vine is coming back she switched us up over here so this should be a pretty good time to go ahead and now use my mythical attack and we'll continue to use Solar Blast. That seems to be my strongest attack currently. What is the pattern rule? Okay, so 21 to 28, there is 7. 28 to 35, it's also 7. So this would be um, uh, 7 times 3, 7 times 4, 7 times 5, 7 times 6. Each time I add one group of 7. And so that is an expanding pattern. All right, and here we go. Solar's going to use Wildfire. 31, 58 points of damage, and spell lock. Ooh, so we are not gonna be able to access all of our spells here. And then she does like the little uh, hand motion there, and here we get hit 
quite not too bad actually not too bad all right so uh we are not able to use wildfire but let's just go ahead and use actually let's try overgrowth and see what overgrowth does all right so we're multiplying 36 times 27 here so we have the 36 27 7 times 6 that is going to be 42 let me put the time symbol here okay so 7 times 3 is 21 21 plus 4 that's going to be 25 we have to put our 0 because we're multiplying 20 so we're respecting our place value 2 times 6 is 12 6 7 all right we add down our answer is going to be 972 all right Make sure we type that in correctly. And there we go. Woohoo. All right, Overgrowth hits for 3188. Got a spell power bonus there. Molten Crash. That hits 2833 there. Powerful against Griff Room. Let's go ahead and do Forest Hurricane here. 67 times 6. Okay, so uh, 66. Six times six, that it would be three thirty-six. Three hundred and sixty is sixty times six. Six seven times six is forty-two. So we'll just go ahead and put the forty-two underneath here. All we have to do is add the separate parts, which would be four o two, four hundred and two. Um, if you would like to see something on multiplication strategies, division strategies, whatever, go ahead and just let me know in the comments or, you know, anywhere, and I am happy to do that. So we switched again. I am back. I have my critical, which is, or my uh, damage bonus, which is awesome, 3379 there. Let's go ahead and start chipping away at him. All right, so we are subtracting the money amounts. It does not look like we need to regroup at all. So what we have here is we have $11 and... 25 cents is the jar change and uh, with all of the credit cards you might need to actually practice money a little bit more um, because uh, you're not we don't use money as actively now as we did uh, way back in the day all right so what are the next three numbers in this pattern 356, 354, 352, 350. So we're descending by evens. And so 48, 46, 44 would be the next three. These are, this 349 is an odd. This is ascending. So A is the only one that fits the pattern that we have established. All right. Okay, so the ancient is about halfway done here. Looks like we need three more attacks from uh, me, from Connor. All right, so Falling Star Smash, I think it is about time to go ahead and turkey up a little bit. Now, um, I don't really use these um, uh, full heals that heal the entire party uh, very often um, in the arena. I, I kind of feel that my character is strong enough. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now just because she keeps on switching us. And so I think I should be good to go ahead and wrap this up right now so what three numbers are missing from the pattern okay so we have two jumps 25 35 it would be 45 55 so 300 and 5 315 345 that's going to be a again and these are just landing on different numbers so that's not even it at all so really we could have just looked at the ones and then identified what is working there all right, 3182 points. Way to go, Griff Room. And here, that's going to hit you for 2827 points. It's powerful against you. Uh, let's go ahead and continue chipping away here with Forest Hurricane. Melia gets $4 a week for cleaning. She wants to buy a $13 toy. How many weeks does she need to clean? Okay, so for this one, we need to think about the fact that she'll have to... It, Every week she gets $4, so she has to have more than $13. So four times three, that would give us 12. So three weeks would be $12. So four weeks would be more than $13 or more. So she would have to clean for four weeks in order to buy the toy. All right, 3152 spell power bonus there. And let's see what happens with this supernova. That's going to hit pretty hard, and Griff Room will make it, so that's awesome. 
Maybe we'll get switched back around a little bit. Solar really hasn't had much fun at all here. Hopefully, Solar will have a chance to play. Which pattern fits this pattern rule? Start at 38 and add two each time. Okay, so we're all starting at 38. Adding two, this is subtracting two. This is, at, <coughs> excuse me, adding one. So C is the answer. That's going to be going up by two. Woohoo! All right, 31, 72 points of damage here. Spell lock again. I love that spell lock symbol. It's pretty cool. All right, and that hits. Ooh, Griff Room, I think you are going to be leaving us. Thank you for your valiant effort here. We appreciate you. Bert painted for 300 seconds. How many minutes did they spend painting? So 300 seconds, uh, 60 seconds to one minute. So we would divide... 60 by 300 and because there's a zero on both of them I'm gonna go ahead and cross this out to make it a little bit easier now I can clearly see that 6 times 5 would be 30 so uh, my answer would be 5 they did 5 minutes so simplifying a little bit and uh, balancing out the equation just by pulling that zero out makes it easier for me to see what's going on all right, so Griffrim, you did a lot of... Oh, you switched us. Now, if you don't hit us with an AoE, then we, Griffrim, you will probably be seeing the end of this. All right, all I have to do is get this question right, and I think we have this in the bag. Is this a prime or a composite number? So prime numbers are numbers that you can multiply only by themselves. So 1 times 3 has uh, 3 you can only do one times three, right? Six, you can multiply one times six, and then you can also do three times two, or two times three. And so uh, prime has, uh, six is composite because there's one, two, three, six are the factors. Three is one and three, so that's a prime number. One, 11, you cannot do that with anything el without anything else, so that is going to be prime. So a really cool guy called, uh, I don't know if his name's going to pop in my head right now, hopefully well. Uh, he had a, a sieve, and um, uh, it was like a number catcher, and so he kind of identified this way to uh, salt, to figure out all the primes by starting at two and multiplying on three, multiplying on four, multiplying on, and then the, the ones that you don't touch after you get to like maybe 11, um, those are all uh, the prime numbers, the ones that are left over that you don't hit when you uh, multiply on and on and on. So, or you could even do skip counting as well. So, unfortunately, his name is not in my head right now. You but... have freed me from the seals, released my true form and repaired my connection to the elements. You are welcome, the Ancients. Please use that power carefully. You have done all of this for me, and so I consider you, Wizard, one of my dearest friends. Thank you. We think you're nifty too, the Ancient, so thank you for everything you've done for us. It is truly wonderful to have a friend again. Please, accept this as a symbol of our friendship. If it's a video game system, let's see. All right, we got the ancient statue furniture for our house. Woohoo! And we have a buddy, Newt and us. We're all gonna go and get ice cream together later. Now, I believe I should tell you my real name. From now on, you may call me Harmony. So that's how the island got its name. That is the name that the Harmony Island villagers gave me a long, long time ago. Oh, that's so cool. Well, it is finally time that I leave this spot and explore the world for myself. There is so much to learn. There's always so much to learn. Yeah, learning is so exciting. We must grow stronger to prepare for what may come. Let us make this world a better place for everyone. And as I leave Prodigy, I try to do that everywhere I go, the ancient harmony. Sorry. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ooh, I had so much fun there. All right. Aratus sneeze, that's his name. 
the sieve of Aretistes. Okay, so here it goes, and we are going to say goodbye to this, but we do have the relic, an ancient astral relic. So we are going to actually check this out, get into a little battle. I think I'm going to go ahead and head on over. The stone has dropped it the down. Ancient, I mean harmony. They must have been really lonely all this time. I did the same thing. I, I called her the ancient instead of Harmony to Newt. Yeah, she did look really lonely, it's didn't she? It's all thanks to you that Harmony could be free again to travel the world. <laughs> you too, Newt. You helped out. We have a lot of exploring and learning to do as well. I just know that we'll see them again someday. Oh, I hope so. That would be so lovely, wouldn't it? All right, so what we have to do is we have to go ahead and open this up, check out our relics, head on down all the way to the bottom, and let's get our Ancient Astral Relic on. Ray of the Ancient is the spell. Let's go ahead and put that on. So we are wearing that, and then let's just head on over to, um, I kind of feel like seeing Bach. Let's head on over and check on Bach, and go ahead and click play here and head on up let's go ahead and share that that's super exciting news and look, we have a frozen something right there after we go ahead and get into this with uh sparks here so let's go ahead and see all right so here is Squawks. Let's go ahead and check out this new attack, Ray of the Ancients. All right. So is that it? Does it does take a little bit of uh, mana here? Write this number using digits. Seven hundred two. Okay. So there is no ten. So there's a zero there. Seven hundred two. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, that is cool. Wow. That was awesome to see. All right, Spox is going to come over here. Ion Cannon at us. Boom, 22-24. I think I want to see that again. That was really cool. All right, so complete the pattern using the pattern rule. Start at 725 and add 25 each time. Okay, so we need to think of quarters. We need to think of money here. Every time I have to add 25, I need to think of my quarters. Okay, so that's 725. I'm going to pretend like it's $7.25. And so we have the 725, 50, 75, the next dollar. So 725, 750, 775, and then 800. And that's how I would add 25 to create that pattern and follow that pattern. Woohoo! Yeah, that's a fun attack. I like that. That is cool. That's awesome. I'm so glad she gave us that. All right, here it comes. It hits 25, 48 points of damage there. Critical hit. You're a tough little bird, Squawks, but not too tough. Let's go ahead and... All right, so we're starting at the number 10. That's where the dot is. So this is complete the pattern rules shown on the number line. We're moving back by one each time. Each of our jumps is one number. So that so start at 10 and subtract one each time is the rule that we are following. And goodbye, Squawks. Toughest little bird I've ever met. 41, 38 points of damage. We will see you later, buddy. And we are done. That is such a cool thing to get. I'm so glad Harmony gave that to us. And it's really nice to have another friend here on the island, isn't it? So, five more stars. Griffin's almost 97. Solar's almost 95. All right, 200 gold coins and 20 shivers. So let's go ahead and pick up this frozen something, and I'll go ahead and toss it in as we wrap up. So thank you so much for joining me for Season uh, 4. We are going to be heading into Season 5 really soon, which you guys have chosen to be the Dark Tower. So we're going to go ahead and do the tower, and we're going to head on up there. I don't know how many frozen somethings I have. I'm just going to toss them in. Um, and as I complete some of the um, uh, walkthroughs for um, Harmony Island in order to get more runes. I will go ahead and be putting up more information. Okay, so that is no more. I'll be, I'll be go putting up more, more videos that talk about the history of Harmony Island uh, that I find out as I do rune runs, um, but I'm going to start to move into 
the uh, tower. So let's go ahead and check out where we are heading next. We're going to be heading right over here to the dark tower, trying to climb up. And we're going to talk to Mira, and we'll be doing that in our next video. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Um, we will be having Prodigy math videos coming out on Mondays and Saturdays. Thursdays are now going to be our prodigy old prodigy videos at least for the time being we're going to be doing a walkthrough of that and showing that and uh also books prodigy english and some roblox fun as well okay so goodbye harmony island we will be returning every once in a while as i continue my quest there and i'll be showing you highlights from that not the whole 27 minute walkthroughs of the um rune runs okay uh take care keep on prodiging on and i will see you next time bye bye